All right, so in this tutorial, we're gonna go over the FPC and how to use the uh, Fruity Loops like an MPC. Uh, there's probably a million different ways to use the FPC, but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how I use it to chop samples and use uh, drum samples as well. So once you open up FPC, um, if you don't know how to do that, just click on the, the plus arrow, go to FPC. This will pop up. It's gonna have a bunch of sounds already preloaded. Uh, I personally don't like to use the preloaded sounds. I just add my own, so that's what we're gonna show you how to do. Right click on these arrows right here on the top right and hit empty. They'll delete everything for you. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, um, grab Edison in the master channel over here. We're going to load our own samples. So if you don't have uh, a sample right now, I, I would stop and uh, get something and then uh, come back to this video here in a second. But we're going to go ahead and load something on here and play that for you. Kind of a cool little bass line. And the cool thing about Edison is that you can just grab any region that you want to. And up here in the right-hand corner is the note drag. So if you bring the FPC back up in the background, as long as you have something highlighted, you just drag it into any pad hit and then you can't see this but on my MPC pad you can play that also if you want what I typically like to do is in Edison I'll, I'll make a bunch of markers and chops beforehand that way I save all my different chops and then I'll, I'll load them in all at once at the same time so let's go ahead and load those other chops that I made in there as well so all you have to do is just highlight that region or whatever you want from the sample and then click on the note drag and then just drop it in and if you have your MPC already uh, set up or your MIDI um, you can play all of those now the first thing you're going to notice is that it, as the FPC is already set up if you hit a button and you hit another one it, the, the notes and the sounds are going to bleed into each other so the way to prevent that is this cut and cut by right here so on each pad, you want to go ahead and set the cut to one and the cut by to one. This is a real tedious process, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to save it as a preset. That way you don't have to do this every time. You can just do it once, save it, and never have to worry about it anymore. So now all the, these three hits are uh, um, cut by one and cut one. So. now they don't bleed into each other when they play so the way that you're gonna save all this is you have to go through and hit cut by and cut by one on each individual pad and once you have all those set up you can click this down arrow next to where it has the different pads and pad numbers you're gonna go to low or you're gonna go to map notes for entire bank basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna start in the bottom left of your MPC you're gonna hit every button in sequential order going from left to right all the way up that way it matches the pads here so we're gonna hit map notes for entire bank start on the bottom left You can just once you're done touching it, all the pads on your MPC will be lined up with the FPC inside of the Fruity Loop software. And now you're gonna hit Save Note Layout, and you can name it whatever you want. I typically just name it MPC, just because that's what I'm gonna use it for. And then I'm gonna hit Save, and now every time I go back, if I go down here to Layouts, I'll just be able to click on MPC. And that way everything's loaded. The, all the notes and the, the, the pads are lined up. And all the cut and cut by are lined up as well. And that way I can hit the pads in any order that I need. So the other way I like to use the FPC is to 
use the different drums and the reason I like using the FPC as opposed to just the step sequencer is that you can play multiple drum hits and drum samples inside of the, the same sequence yet you can edit each sound individually because it's in the FPC so if I go to M FPC blank one I'm gonna empty it I'm gonna load my preset MPC and then there's a couple different ways to add sounds one is just going into any drum kit that you have that's a crazy kick let's use that one and just dragging in the different sounds you got the hats and you can obviously put them on whatever pad that you feel comfortable for some reason I was like putting the hat on top of the kick and I always put the snare next to the kick but obviously it doesn't really matter um, and that way I can play the drums however you want to but if you go to just this output section right here this allows you to put each different pad on its own mixer channel so if I go back to the step sequencer and I put the FPC on channel 1 no matter what I hit it's all gonna play on the, the first mixer channel now if I go back into the FPC say I change the output what's at 0 right now to 1 it's gonna send that kick to channel 2 hit the snare up to two, so basically plus two, and send it to three. So again, that way I can play multiple sounds at the same time, send to the different channels, and then I can edit those differently. I can put different EQ, I can put different effects, reverb or whatever, on each individual hit, which is pretty cool. You can't do that if you have all the sounds inside of the step sequence, or like I say, you add a snare, and you add a kick, you can only play the snare or the kick individually. You can't play them together. You can edit them separately, which is cool, but you can't play them together. So um, that's why I like to use the FPC for the drums. Now, I said there's a second way. Um, not only can you add individual you know, sounds from drum kits, which is pretty easily, but one thing I also like to do is I like to take drum loops and then pull out individual drum hits from the drum loop. So if I go to samples, I have my own folder with some drum loops that I've pre-saved. I really like this Leroy Hudson, uh, all because of you. If I go to the master channel and add Edison, it'll pull up the whole entire file and put it in there. And one thing I really like to use from this particular one to give you a real example is the kick drum in it. Once I I'm able to edit it and EQ it. I really like the, the kick for almost almost all tracks that I use. Obviously, you can see, you can still hear the, the hi-hat on top of it. Um, so I'm going to go into the MPC, or the FPC, I should say. I'm going to drag in just that kick sample. I'm going to set it to its own channel. Say I add some EQ on it. I can use the, add my own kick that has a little knock to it from there. So that's about it for all I have for the FPC uh, and the MPC. That's how I use it to, to chop samples and uh, lay drums over it. So hope it was helpful.